you play your mp3 files on your computer and some are louder than others. You can either put up with it, turn the volume down, then back up, or use a program to apply replay gain to your music so that all the files are the same volume. What would you use? Well, you could use WXMP3 Gain, a free and easy to use replay gain program. Hi, Dennis Ray here. When I was growing up in the 60s, and yes, I am that old. I dreamed of being an astronaut, uh, being James Bond, or someday making YouTube videos. And here we are. Please like and comment below, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. So what exactly is Replay Gain? It makes your MP3 music files play at the same volume, or in other words, it normalizes the volume of the files and it does it better than regular normalization. Normalization finds the maximum value in the file and recompresses the mp3 file so it's no longer the original music file. Replay gain doesn't just analyze the peak value but computes the average volume. It doesn't change the sound. Replay gain attaches a code to the files that tells the music player at what volume to play the music. You then need to use a player program that recognizes replay gain, for example, FUBAR 2000 and many others. This all makes sense, right? Let's take a look at the interface for WXMP3 gain. First of all, the menu, which has uh, most of the items that are the same as the icons in the toolbar but let's take a look at them anyway. So we have add folder, add files, exit, edit, remove files, clear list, settings, analysis, analyze, clear analysis, gain, gain, undo gain changes, and delete stored tag info, and we got help. Now let's go back to settings. In settings, there are these three tabs. And in the general tab, there is gain options. Um, this automatically lower gain to not clip audio. If this is checked, it will automatically keep the sound from being too loud so that it doesn't become distorted. But it's not checked by default because if you leave the normal volume at 89, it will be low enough that it won't distort the sound. And then there is file options. And this is forced to assume input is an MPEG2 layer 3 file. So if this is checked, it will make sure that a file that is MPEG2 layer and is not a proper MP3 file isn't misnamed as a MP3 file. So by default, these are both unchecked and I would just leave them unchecked. In the tags tab, uh, this is where you control what information is attached to your music file about the file. In uh, tags options, you have the choice of these three. Um, this is the default, APE, or you can have ID3 uh, pulling information from different sources. Or you can skip uh, stored information if you want to add your own. And then below that, tags reading. Uh, this, just like it says, do not read tag information. So if you don't want any information attached at all, you would check that. Then in the constant gain tab, uh, use constant gain without doing an analysis. And uh, I would not check this because if it doesn't do an analysis, you wouldn't get the best level of replay gain attached. In the toolbar, there are these icons. Uh, like I mentioned, some of the same items that you find in the menu. There is add folder, add files, remove files, clear list, analyze, and this is where you 
actually start the game process, settings, and about. Then below that, there's a setting for volume. And uh, 89, as I mentioned before, is the uh, default volume. But uh, for optimal volume without distortion, it can be four numbers up or down without being too low or too high for distortion. Why don't we use WX MP3 gain to attach uh, replay gain to some music to see how it works. I opened up FUBAR 2000 and put a music file in it. We'll listen to a part of it to see what it sounds like before adding replay gain. Uh, by the way, I got the music files that we'll work with today from YouTube's own audio library. So YouTube, don't try to get me for copyright infringement. Okay? We are back in WX MP3 gain. Let's open up the file we just listened to and then hit the analyze button. And it's telling us that right now the volume is 95.3. When it attaches replay gain, it will bring it down by 6. So now we can hit the gain button. Now the volume is 89.3 and uh, actually you don't need to first hit the analyze button. I just did that to show what the difference in the level will be. You can just hit the gain button as soon as you have the file in WX MP3 gain. Now let's go and listen to this in FUBAR again and see if we hear any difference. Did you hear a difference? The volume is a little lower. Now since I want all my music to be at the same volume, I can open up a folder and add that. And it has all the music in the folder and then hit the gain button and it'll process each one of those so they're all at approximately the same volume. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make all your music files the same volume. And where do you get WX MP3 gain? Well, I'm glad you asked. This is a site where you can start the download process. Uh, if you scroll down, there's a nice screenshot of it. Uh, install from binaries. This is the source to be able to get the Windows version. And then below that, there are commands to be able to install it to Linux distributions. But we're interested in the Windows version, so we hit that. And that takes you to this site, where you can download uh, WXMP3 game. And uh, you don't necessarily have to go to the GitHub site first. You can go directly to this site to download it. Uh, the download does take a little while. It, comes up with a little clock countdown that takes a while and then it downloads it and there is a better source for uh, WX MP3 gain that I like and that is MajorGeeks.com 
And MajorGeeks.com has information about WXMP3 gain and it tells you what it does. It has some nice screenshots. Uh, you can click on one of these two links to download it. And it doesn't take long at all. It's a not very large file. And then once you have it, you can double click the file to start the install. And it is open source, so it doesn't have any adware or anything else attached to it. Uh, only the WXMP3 program. And uh, best of all, it's free. And I'll put links for these sites in the description below. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and comment below. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. See ya.